Jennifer Mills. Oh! Speaking, speaking of, hey, Jennifer. Oh, there we go. But she, let me tell you, she heard that. Uh, 150000 <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Where are you? Where are you right now? I'm in I'm in California. Well, look at the snowy Arkansas where yeah. we got eight inches of snow last night, and we don't know what to do with it. You go sledding. Go sledding? That's what we've been doing. Nah, that's there you good. Go. That's good for about four. Uh, we're getting up in age. Uh, you know, that, that, that going down part's real easy. It's uh, climbing back up the hill that's real fun. <laughs> We're just commenting uh, that uh, some of us here in the studio share the same birth year as you, and one of our younger guys came in here, and I asked him to guess how old you were, and he said 38. I thought you'd appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. What a lovely person. You look terrific, Jennifer. You Thank really you. do. And uh, we were just talking about how, obviously, you, you came to fame with Flashdance in 83. I understand. I, I know you were in the movie The Bodyguard, just yes. a, a cameo, but your, your, your first big role, you hit a, mo- that- yeah, hit a monster home run, right? Wait, I'm sorry, say that again? I was so rudely about to interrupt you that I didn't hear the question. No, I was saying, the, you know, your first big role was the first really one you tried for, and it was Flashdance. And yes. I, mean, I mean, how is that? You were still, what, you were 18 at the time? Yes, I was, I was. I mean, that, I is, was. that is remarkable to be 18 years old. And how was dealing with the fame at that time? Was that just, uh, were you able to handle it? Was it overwhelming? Um, you know, it was a different era. There's, there wasn't the Internet. There wasn't 5 That's true. million magazines. Right. You know, trying to follow you around. And I just, I went back to college. I enjoyed making a film, but I really loved going to school. You and, ever, you and I was pretty good at it, so I thought that's maybe something that I should do. You ever get bugged by those YouTube people, the paparazzi? In the 90s, they were the paparazzi. and What are they now? I think they still are. I don't know. Do they, do they bug you? Uh, I don't really get anybody bothering me. I think, you know. Well, would you like someone to? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you were. Uh, I knew you were probably acting, but but it seemed like you were a little bit off the radar from a national standpoint until the uh, until the L word came out. And I'll be honest with you; you were one of the reasons I watched that show. Uh, I thought you did a great job. Obviously, you look great, and all of a sudden, boom! And now you've got a a big show coming up, Chicago Code, which is uh, which airs on uh, Fox Monday nights at eight o'clock Central here in in Arkansas. So, was the L word? What, did that open up new doors for you, or did? Were people glad to see you, or you've been working this whole time, but just really not as many uh, national No, films? I've been I've been working the whole time. I've been doing a lot of independent films. Mm-hmm. I've worked in in Europe, and intermittently I would do studio films like Devil in Blue Dress. Um, and and after the L Word, I did uh, a film called Book of Eli, um, again with Denzel and wow. Gary Oldman and Mila Kunis, which is a really great film, and that I was really proud of. And then I did Lie to Me, and then I did a film called Night for Dying Tigers in Canada that I love that's going to be released soon. And then I got the Chicago Code, so I've kind of been working the whole time. Just some projects are, you know, bigger than others. And um, for me, it's really about the experience of doing the film. I can't really control whether a lot of people go see it, so all I can... Sure. Kind of take responsibility for is my experience. We uh, we like to ask a lot of. We're joined by Jennifer Bills, by the way. Uh, we we ask a lot of actors that we have on our show who have done movies uh, how they like the lifestyle change when it comes to shooting a, a television series, uh, and the demand, the hours, and that kind of deal. I know. I, I think you play the first uh, female superintendent of the Chicago Police Department. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. So how, how is the shoot, uh, what kind of day, I mean, is it much more commanding and demanding than, uh, than, than the movie shoots? Well, well, even, it's more not only more demanding than a film shoot, but in comparison to the L Word, during the L Word, I trained for two triathlons. Wow. During the Chicago Code, I could barely go running twice a week. Like, I just didn't have time. I didn't have time, and, and any bit of energy that I had had to go into the show um, or yeah. to my personal life. Is so. that a good, is that, well, is that a good thing, or is it Well, not? It's, it's, a, it's, it's not good or bad. I think it's just the nature of, of the beast, and, and I just really wanted to dedicate myself to the part because it was complicated, and there was a lot of things that I needed to be uh, take responsibility for um, in terms of what I needed to learn in order to play the part. You know, we did, as a cast, we did ride-alongs with the real Chicago Police Department. You know, I started doing boxing. I started interviewing people, oh. um, you know, uh, who were more administrative positions so I could understand what that part of my job 
might look like. And, and you know, it was it was a lot. There was a lot going on, so I needed to just take that time and and hunker down. And you're from Chicago too, originally, correct? Yes, I am. And I, I'll tell you what, we you know we we go crazy when we get six inches of snow here. Uh, I don't want any part of those Chicago winters that you guys have dealt with for so long. Ooh. You know what, though, I, unless it's minus twenty with the wind chill, it's actually really. I find it to be really beautiful. Like it, the the city gets really kind of quiet, and people are really nice to each other. Bradley and Bradley was saying it's just like a uh, part of life up there. It's yeah, no big deal. It. Yeah. Yes, it's just part of life. Although, although recently it was even extraordinary. Uh, I guess levels for Chicago here. I guess what a couple of weeks ago by yep. the lake. I guess so. Uh, yeah, I was. I was there. I was there for that. Now, how do you how do you wake up and uh, look out the window and go, Well, that looks like that might be more than five or six inches out there. That yeah, like you just get excited and you get your snow pants on, your snow boots, and you go to the hill. Well, uh, <laughs> with your sled. Sure. Sledding. Well, Jennifer, listen, you've had a great career, and, uh, you know, we're excited about your new show, Chicago Code. We'll uh, encourage you. all our listeners uh, to check it out on Fox Monday nights, 8 o'clock Central. And uh, you've had a long career. Congratulations. And Thank you. And st- you look wonderful. And, uh, yeah, all the guys in here are looking at your picture, the youngsters. And, uh, <laughs> There's very- nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. God bless them. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jennifer. We appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. Good luck.